Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Big bear day for the tech sector, and we can see the breakdown on high bear volume on the daily time frame, losing the higher low pattern with a break of 57.66 support. So the 50-day moving average, 57.75 is support, and the next price level after the low of today of 57.57 is going to be down at 57.07. So the weekly time frame still just fine for the bulls. The key level for me on the weekly is 56.47. If we break that level, we lose the higher low pattern on the daily, and the bears could start to take over, and we would watch for lower highs and lower lows to follow that if we were to break 56.47. But as of right now, that support is holding up just fine. And we'll see if that can continue. Bulls need to buy the dip tomorrow. We had a lot of high beta names. We had Netflix and Facebook down over 5%. Have to see the bulls bounce on the hourly time frame. See the oversold bounce play out. Otherwise, the tech sector is in trouble. Money is leaving the tech sector and going to other places in the market. And we know that because the market overall is holding up. Apple had another bear day. The high rejecting from the lower Bollinger Band daily resistance and pulling back. The bulls here have to turn things around. And we did fill the gap today to 149.63. That has filled. We now have support of 149.16 followed by 147.55. Bulls have to break this lower high pattern. We've been seeing six days in a row of lower highs. We have to hold the low of today tomorrow at 149.16 and get over this lower Bollinger Band to see the bounce begin to play out. The weekly time frame is losing the middle Bollinger Band. Bulls need to close back over 152.29 or we reject from this level on a back test and that would be notable as we have not seen the price below this middle Bollinger Band for multiple weeks in a row here. Only one time, two weeks in a row in 2017. And this would be the second time if that were to play out. Facebook, huge dump day. I guess the market did not like Zuckerberg selling some of his shares for charity. And that on top of an already bearish tech sector day. The clear bear break occurred on Friday where we had a lower high and a lower low when we broke below 169.34. And then today we had a huge dump. Look at that volume comparatively. That's a lot of volume. And we broke a clear base of support at 165 even. That was a very important support level. And we're now filling gaps on the daily time frame. There's a gap down at 155.42 to be watching. The weekly time frame now has a lower high and a lower low. And the middle Bollinger Band of 161.39 is being tested. So the bears are definitely in control of the short term. But Facebook is the most oversold hourly time frame for the tech sector. And we're watching to see if we get an hourly oversold bounce tomorrow for some short-term gains for those bulls. Because otherwise, we are at risk of losing the middle Bollinger Band for the first time in 2017. I don't think that's going to happen this week. I do think the bulls will see a bit of an oversold bounce play out from here. I'm going to be very curious what that volume looks like for the bulls. Because this bear volume is undeniably huge. So we have to be seeing comparable big bull volume on any kind of bounce. Otherwise, we know it's just a short-term bounce before the bears take back over. So I appreciate you watching, and we will check back in tomorrow and see if this oversold tech sector bounce can get going.